two opposing theories that describe the use of technology in the society will be discussed. Technology Determinism and the Social Construction of Technology The social construction of technology explains that technology is used based on human problems while technology determinism means any social changes are controlled by the technology. Whenever a new technology comes out, that is the only time humans shift their actions. Just like this image, a person shifts from an old and slow to a new faster computing device to be more productive. His actions are defined by the technology not by what he wants nor what he needs. Technological determinism seeks to show technical developments, different forms of media, computers, telecommunications or technology as a whole, as the key mover in history and social change. The theory simply states that technology is the determining factor of the outcome or result. It is a theory subscribed by hyperglobalists also known as global optimists, a group claiming that as a consequence of the wide availability of technology, accelerated globalization is inevitable therefore, technological development and innovation become the principal motor of social, economic or political change. As technology is stabilized, its design tends to dictate users' behaviors becomes powerful consequently diminishing the capacity for human beings to make choices and to impose those choices on the world. Humans become slave of technology, aligning their plans and progress from the technology available. In 1992, sociologist Claude Fisher characterized the most prominent forms of technological determinism as billiard ball approaches, in which technology is seen as an external force introduced into a social situation producing a series of ricochet effects. Technology determinism can be considered true in communication where social media, a new form of technology was used as a modern way of having a conversation. The transformation is from physical to electronic. Humans were driven to use this technology due to its increasing acceptability. Following the concepts of technology determinism and implementing it in distance education, it can imply that the technology we currently have determines the educational structure we design or implement. A good example would be when a university claims that the Internet, one of the best output of technology improved the pedagogical aspects through e-learning. Therefore it is clearly stated that in adopting technology determinism in distance education, the existing technologies are considered first rather than prioritizing the societal issues. New technologies are applied to distance education and inevitable changes will come because of the impacts of technology. There is no doubt that technology nowadays is advanced already, that almost all societal problems can be addressed properly. However, Many training institutions and other non-formal institutions have been relying greatly on the present technology for the dissemination of information thus limiting their freedom in creating and implementing instruction. Over the last 30 years or so there has been much debate amongst historians and sociologists concerning the interplay of technology and society in the development and functioning of socio-technological systems. One outcome of this work has been a general move away from a traditional, technologically determinist. Scott contradicts the notion of technology determinism's strong claim that technology influences societal changes. Scott points out that the societal issues are pondered and based on issues determined, the technology will respond, if existing ones is not enough then technological enhancement is built. It was in 1980s when the concept known as social construction of technology captured the attention of sociologists as it questioned the technical aspect of technological determinism. Still, strong claims of technological determinism are evident. Expanding the scope of the social construction of technology, several case studies were published opposing the claims of technological determinism. The outcome of the technology development was brought by the ideas and negotiations between individuals from different social groups and diverse demographics profiles. Depending on the societal issues, the technology goes through three stages, first, the invention and interpretative flexibility, second, experimentation, closure and collapse of form and third, wider adoption by society, which can solidify form 
encourage alteration and have intended effects. Social construction of technology is used to describe the technological evolution of distance education. For many years, universities with a significant commitment to distance and open education institutions have been at the forefront of adopting new technologies to increase access to education and training. In the first generation of distance education called correspondence model, print technology becomes prevalent in response to wider reach of learning dissemination. Because distance education basically adopts a no physical classroom, a need to transform the oral discussion to printed materials begin. The second generation called multimedia model is based on print, audio and video technologies. Difficulties in the production and distribution of print technologies started to escalate. In response, multimedia versions of lectures were created. The third generation called the tele-learning model is based on applications of telecommunications technologies to provide opportunities for synchronous communication. Students and teachers would like to have a near-real method of learning. To address this need, many tech giants, such as Google and Microsoft started to develop software tools that caters live learning. The fourth generation called the flexible learning model is based on online delivery via the Internet is a response to the optimization of the Internet usage. Schools and universities avail software applications such as Learning Management System that supports automation reporting and delivery of learning materials. 